around as he's doing with this antenna. We are heading to Kawea Mountain today, outside of Anza. Where? Outside of Anza, California. Ka Kawea. Kawea. C A H U I L L A. All right, I'll say Kahui. Kahui. <laughs> <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie with Charlie. Summit's on the air. Got us into the, uh, the initial approach fix here. Just gonna, we're gonna unload and uh, get, on the, uh, get on the trail here. Actually, road condition's pretty good. I could have got my Highlander up here, no problem, so. That gives you any sense for uh, road conditions. There was no clearance needed to get Yeah, it. real no, no clearance. I mean, I wouldn't put a Prius up here, but yeah, other than that, beautiful. A little high overcast, looking good. So uh, we're gonna saddle up and go here. Beautiful day for a trip. I'd say it's about, what, 70? Yeah, maybe even a little less in the shade. All right, so heading up to, uh, how do you say it again? Kawea. Kawea. I said Kui. Kawea. Kawea. And uh, we're about a three mile hike. It's a, uh, as I remember it, pretty simple trail all the way up, picturesque like this the whole way it's a beautiful trail yeah yeah so it'll just get better from here Gotcha. So you're gonna set up a dipole somewhere in here, maybe? Somewhere uh, where I can have the axis running north-south-ish, so the transverse axis is northeast-southwest. That's, that that's my ideal setup. And what, then sometimes I have to move it if I wanna get friends in LA. Okay. Yeah. What, is it home homemade or? Nope, it's a soda beams. Off the shelf soda, soda beams. beams. 20, 30, 40 clip dipole. Oh, sweet. Okay. It gives me the best signal of anything I use. Yeah, yeah, those, yeah. they really are great. Not the lightest thing, but it's not too bad for weight. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, and then you're running that into what kind of radio? KX2. KX2, all right. KX2 He's got a little... with a, uh, what is it, American Machine? They're little portable, <laughs> same one you use for keys. Oh, the AMR. Yeah. Yeah, the AMR, yeah, yeah. Th those are fantastic keys, yeah, I love it. I strap that on my leg. Yep. Yeah, it's a comfortable setup. I got my portable table, my portable chair. <laughs> hey, look, uh, soda doesn't mean you have to be up here without anything. I bring a chair, too. No, bring a chair. The table weighs a pound and a quarter. Why not bring it? Yeah, when you're on you a know? short height like this. Yeah, why put the radio in the dirt? If we were doing 16 miles a day, then That's I would have left the chair thing. and other That's things. But thing. yeah, this is yeah. an easy hike up here, too. Trail <laughs> well, all the way. I've never really been known as an ultralight in any of my mountaineering career. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Well, yeah. uh, once you get up, set up, we'll uh, check out your station. Okay. Um, and if I haven't introduced him yet, this is... I'm Ted, W6TED. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to awesome. check out what it. I remember over here and see if I can set up. Um, I'm just running the uh, K6 ARK uh, Radom wire. Yep. Um, 
I've got a link I would rifle. love to have one of those one of these days. Yeah, well, you have to yeah. make one or uh, be really good buddies. Yeah, I know. You hear that, Adam? I just, you know, with neuropathy, it's really hard <laughs> to do that little winding stuff. And, <laughs> and uh, but it's a challenge. I'll get to it one of these days. If you haven't seen it, go check out K6ARK Portable Radio YouTube channel. The guy makes some incredible uh, portable equipment, antennas, and radios. So check that out. Uh, November Julia 7 Victor Charlie over in Arizona has another great uh, YouTube channel as well doing soda. So several of us out there doing it and uh, some great channels. Yeah. So, all right, well, let's get set up and uh, get cracking here. Let's do it. View from up here, really, really nice. We're gonna set up the station here. Oh, he told me he hadn't been drinking yet this, today, but I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> as much goofing around as he's doing with this antenna. We're going to set up uh, Ted's uh, link dipole here, and uh, we'll just run one radio. Get our activation, 2040, maybe some other bands, do some chasing. And uh, yeah, it should be fun up here. If Ted can ever figure out how to put oh, his antenna up. Jesus. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Right. Maybe you should start drinking. That might help you. <laughs> So this isn't just your regular soda, this is... Glamping soda. Glamping soda. Gloda, something like Gloda. that. He's got the table. He's gonna plug in his key and we're gonna get cracking here. Uh, we're gonna do a little chasing. Uh, Whiskey Bravo Zero, India Sierra Gulf. He's up on Callahan Knob in Wyoming, so we're gonna go get him. Right, Ted? That's right. All right. Don't hear him, dude. Don't hear him either. That may be a no-go. Try with the headphones. Sometimes I can hear fainter signals with that. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute. I hear somebody in there. Yeah, He's the fidelity, uh, that speaker is terrible. Uh, QSB, he's up and down. So this is how it's chasing. What we're doing, um, while well, Ted's listening in, this operator uh, runs a lot slower CW. It sounds like, um, you know, he's, he's still learning. So we've turned the keyer down to about 19. And then I'm putting really big spaces in it uh, so he or she can, can basically decode what we're sending. Um, and it worked. I mean, we're, we're sending at about 19, and then I put some really big spacing in there. Um, and then, of course, the hardest thing when you're learning this as an activator, when you learn CW, you're typically not thrown into the deep end of the pool, meaning that a brand new CW op doesn't typically have to deal with a massive pileup of chasers. That's what soda does. So, in this case, the operator's you know doing the best he can, and everybody is slowing down for him, putting in big spaces, and helping him out. So that's what's so great about CW. And and working soda is everybody works to the activator's speed. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. First summit to summit. Hey, well done, Whiskey Bravo Zero ISG. You rock, dude. Uh, I think it's Donald. Our first contact, and uh, well done. We'll, we'll unplug it so you can hear, but we may not be able to do that. I'm not getting a whole lot. 1406. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I had him. Somebody's calling us to us. Yeah. Oh, you can hear the other side too. Who is this? So okay, K Z. Got it. Good. So, uh, another very difficult uh, QSO uh, with him, uh, which is fun. Uh, it's, it's a challenge sometimes. But uh, thank you, Scott. Well done. You uh, you worked out our summit, and uh, both of us got you summit to summit here. Yeah. So that was awesome. Thank you. Um, and 
you know, these really weak signals, you just have to keep working at it. So um, that was pretty awesome. I'm no expert at this, trust me. So I'm doing That's good. why they call it amateur radio. Yeah, I'm big time amateur. <laughs> he's, he's a little bit better at this, but uh, <laughs> at the CW portion. Um, I'm good at sarcasm, so that's <laughs> I'm pretty much have a PhD in uh, sarcology. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I'm no good there. offense here, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, well, I you want to spot to, on let's, uh, let's 20? Try, yeah, let's try running and see what happens. Why don't you run 20 and see uh, what you can pull up? Uh, foot's going to sleep. I'm going to grab some water. I think I'll just go up to 62. Okay, we're wrapping it up and uh, heading back to the truck. I got 22, let's see. Ted started and activated on 20 meters. Yep. We shared his radio. Got some summit to summits in there and we uh, passed the- uh, About five of them, I think. Here back and forth, yeah. Yeah, five, um, actually, maybe six, I don't know, but I yeah. Count, I count five. Five. So I got 22, I, I activated on 40 meters. Uh, got 22 contacts with uh, five summit to summits, so I'm happy. Yep. And uh, had a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Always always good to hear from Josh and Daryl when they're out there too and doing oh, some yeah. something with them. Yeah, we heard were trading from a pictures. Friends, <laughs> you know, heard from John, K6LDQ, and Joel, W6TC. And yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun yeah. up here. Yeah. All right, so we're going to head back to the to the uh, Echo Crawler and uh, get cracking to the next summit. What's it called? Red? Red Mountain. We're hoping to get into Red Mountain, so uh, we'll see what happens. unless the road's closed or something, so that'll be cool. We'll get uh, two summits today, and a few points in the log, and a bunch of contacts in the log. So uh, here we go. Oop. And this is pretty much the only part of the bushwhack. Is you just come over the peak, which I am 20 feet from, and over. So here we are in the summit. Had some great views out there. And I got a good drone shot. Hope you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Made it back to the truck. So we're gonna head over to uh, Red Mountain. See how that goes. Not sure we can make it, but uh, just see how it goes. Here on Red Hill, is that right? Red Mountain. Red Mountain. Red Mountain. Uh, they got a fire tower up fire here, fire tower lookout. Built and and built in 1936. Pretty Red wild. Red One uh, tower looks like uh, they've got a radio shack and maybe some looks like backup power down there. So yeah, we're gonna set up I'll some. Uh, if anybody needs it. So, yeah, yeah. I'd tie into that. Alrighty, so we're gonna set up and get cracking. Yeah. All right. Kilo, November 6, Gulf Victor Hotel. Thanks very much for the contact. I have you five by nine here on the uh, summit of Red Mountain. Uh, QSL? Where's the uh, Red Mountain? We are east, uh, maybe 15 miles of Palomar Mountain on High Point Road. Let's see what I got. 
As Ted is killing it on VHF, I'm gonna go over and fire up the HF. Yeah. We're kind of close to this power system over here. If I pick up any uh, interference, I'm gonna move over to that flat spot over there. So let's go ahead over to our operating position and get the radio going. Jeff, I've got six QSOs on 20. I got, I got like 14. I know you were just killing it over there, dude. It's like, I'm fine. All I right, have to go HF. You're activated? Yeah, I got 12. I got 12. Oh shit, yeah, that's awesome. I was like, yeah, I'm fine.